coming to you on agenda from Dayal Singh College of Delhi University. The reason we've chosen this location is because over the past few days, the Chief Minister of Delhi has made an interesting demand. He's pointed out that out of the 2.65 lakh students who want admission into university here in Delhi and Delhi's colleges, only 90,000 are able to get admission. And the reason why that happens, he says, is because Delhi doesn't have a quota for local students. So that's what he wants. He also says that the normalization of marks is not really helping uh, Delhi students and they're at a disadvantage because of it. But does the chief minister really have a point or not? We wanted to ask that with our special panel over here. And of course, a lot of the students who are now seeking admission, uh, what may, may not be of surprise is that a lot of the students who want admission here in Delhi and are Delhi students, they all support the chief minister. But is it a good idea? Let me just introduce uh, our guest today. We have Saurabh Bhardwaj, who is the ARP MLA from Greater Kailash. We have Professor Apurvanand, who teaches in Delhi University, and Arvind Gupta of the BJP, also a former IIT students. We also have Kavita Sharma, uh, who used to be principal of Hindu College, but now is the Vice Chancellor of South Asian University. Saurabh, if I can first start with you, this whole question, our talking point is this local versus outsiders issue. Uh, why is it that the chief minister is making this point? Because isn't it parochial? <coughs> Doesn't it go against Delhi's cosmopolitan culture? Uh, uh, first of, first point, you know, uh, when we say it's local versus outsiders, it's not the fact. Because if you look at people, uh, the kind of background of the people who pass out in Delhi from 12th, I think 70 to 80 percent people are from UP, Bihar. Rajasthan because that's a kind of a population base you have in Delhi. You hardly have 30% people who are originally Delhiites. Otherwise people have migrated from different states and it happens for all the capitals. <coughs> so what we are talking about is that for a student which is passing 12th class at Delhi, you know, there are no options for them to get settled in colleges in Delhi. Delhi being a central run state has a university which is Delhi University. It's a central university by default. But you know, uh, Delhi students don't have you know anything to do with with the fact whether it's a central university or a state university. And the second most important thing is like you know, Delhi University admits students on the basis of marks you earn in twelfth class. Mm -hmm. Now different boards have different mechanisms of giving marks, and it is believed that it is difficult to get marks or a percentage in CBSC board, which is largely the board which you know in which uh, people give marks. Uh, exams in Delhi. Okay. For example, at SRCC this year, 80% of the students who have got into SRCC are coming from Tamil Nadu. Right. That doesn't mean that, you know, people from Tamil Nadu are so intelligent that they are getting into SRCC by 80%. It's just because that this year, probably in Tamil Nadu board, they gave away marks like anything. So, you know, they have flooded the university. Okay. Okay. So, that's the point. And Arvind Gupta, the BJP obviously finds this hard to contest. No, see, it is uh, while every state would like uh, like to uh, protect um, its uh, the its citizens and you know uh, serve its citizens. It's important for a central government to take a very you know nationalist view or a, a, a country wide view. Uh, you know, uh, you know, if you impose this in Delhi, what happens to Delhi students going outside Delhi? What uh, do you close options for them? If every state says this is only you know domiciles local we give you a quota <laughs> then then you close doors for students from delhi for, to go outside also if by, you know and and this is not a x party versus a y party thing it's actually an issue of well, how can we provide more quality education how can we build more capacity whether in delhi or all all over india my point is that you know there are students if 90000 students get admitted in delhi 1.75 lakhs don't and they currently go outside delhi if we do anything which is short sighted then we also close doors for a lot of people who go outside Delhi and study. And I think we have to holistically look at it, not just in a very short-sighted manner. While having said that, I think it's important to look at a national admission mechanism. It's very, very important because, I, th you know, what, what uh, Saurabh says is a very, very uh, well-balanced view that it, boards are not normalized. And people, you know, one year could be tough for X board, one year could be tough for a Y board. Yes. So, you know, I think it's there is a need to have a consensus to arrive at a national SAT type of a system, a national testing system, which is yeah. which everybody takes if they want to apply outside their state. 
if they want to remain within their state, they can use the state boards or the CBSE boards, whichever are applicable. But when they want to go outside and apply, I have a national testing system. So then it, they become at par. So two people, two students, whether from Delhi, UP, Bihar or Tamil Nadu, yeah. will then be on the same scale. Wow. And, well, and it is fair well, than to everyone. We are seeing the kind of trouble that NEET is experiencing in having a uniform test. So, but it's an interesting idea. Why is it, Professor Purvanand, we heard the politicians here on this. Why is it that you, as a teacher, uh, find problems with this idea mo moved by the Chief Minister? They are not only the only politicians. Yes, of course. He's yeah. an engineer and he is also an engineer. So I won't say that uh, what they are saying is only political. Uh, uh, they had valid points to make. I think why we shouldn't uh, go for quota and especially uh, quota for local people is because universities are uh, in their very nature cosmopolitan mm. and they should remain co cosmopolitan and not only national, they should be international. In the university, the very word uh, says that you should have universe in you. So this is the first point uh, and if you restrict Delhi University largely for students uh, passing out from schools of Delhi, then uh, uh, a day will come when a demand will come that IIT located in a state should restrict itself to students from that state. And what's wrong with that demand? So if you you have to have a method. And you can't provincialize universities. Why our universities have deteriorated? Because they have become very, very provincial, very, very narrow in their not only profile of their students, profile of their teachers, profile of their whole community, and this is pulling our universities down. So when we say that we want to be in the list of top 200 universities, yeah. we can't have processes which are contrary to what make you excellent. So, and, and that's not having any kind of bars like this. Yes. And secondly, um, I would like to appeal to the, uh, to the government of Delhi. If they are so concerned uh, with the future of students of Delhi, they should create more institutions. Yeah. Absolutely. For example, Ambedkar University in Delhi is a world-class institution, Ambedkar University, and it has a quota. 80% for Delhi University, yeah. university students. Yeah. So students coming from outside Delhi feel aggrieved that they can't get into because there is a so 80% quota, a quota for yeah, and uh, those Ambedkar are under the state, so state control. Yeah. State so control. They are under the so state control. Create, so create more colleges, create more universities. We need to have more universities. Don't complain. Delhi University is a central university. Hyderabad Central University is a central university. So don't make central universities provincial. Make your state universities in, uh, national, national and absolutely. International. Okay, I, I actually want to point to some of these students, young people over here. He's got 98%. Who got 98%? Hasn't got a college uh, seat so far? Yeah. He yeah. got 97%. He hasn't got a college seat. Yeah. 97%. You haven't got a college seat because you haven't got the course that you really wanted. Yes. So what do you plan to do? Computer science. And and that's why you want the quota, even at DU. Yeah. And all of you, does anyone feel any different? What sir saying? Does that make sense? I think education has, uh, nobody has any monopoly on education. Uh, today, more than festivals, we are united by education. Today, if you see the DU or different universities, today I am studying in a different college and we are, we are, diff we are people from different, different states. Uh, so that makes education more united. I think uh, if you talk about the DU or any other institute, if the uh, domicile quota comes into effect, uh, what will happen in Delhi? People will only live in Delhi. Jaipur yes. people will only live in Jel Delhi. So they will not gel up with different different culture. Yeah, so and, I, I and I think we have to listen to the students over here because this is what affects them and perhaps that's what you all had in mind as well. But yeah. you said, I just wanted to ask uh, Dr. Kavita Sharma, ma'am, uh, as a former principal of Hindu College, can you explain to our viewers and a lot of people, they seem to be confused because Arvind Kejriwal is making a point about normalization of marks. Can you tell us how that works and who it really benefits? Yes. Well, uh, I think uh, there are some short-term things and some long-term things. One is that you have s multiple um, multiple boards, so you need to any good statistician will tell us how to no how to normalize these marks, and immediately steps should be taken for it. Also, you need to work in percentiles. What that will do is that you may have a board which gives uh, majority of people ninety percent. 
but then their percentile will be less then somebody where uh, who belongs to a board where only a few people get 90% and that person has got 85% that person's percentile will be higher than the one who comes from a board where the majority have got 90% i've been saying this for a long time okay. but i also want to say a few long term things which again uh, points have been made national testing service was promised to us in 1986 in the in the education policy and it has not yet happened we need to develop that also we need to um, improve our universities in the various states because uh, if you have quality universities in various states why would parents send somebody of age 17 to come and try and uh, make it in delhi university most parents then if you had an equally good university in that state would rather keep their kids at least for the undergraduate in the, uh, with themselves uh, also that brings me to a very interesting point that has been raised by one of your students that it will become very provincial but our state universities have a jurisdictional boundary and most state universities run like provincial colleges if i were somehow uh, had the authority and the power the, i would try and give an entrance exam of the sat variety everywhere and allow all the universities to have a mingled population so that you don't have this provincial